Welcome back to Let's Play Heavy Rain, Episode 5. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester, here with the Niskull. Yes. I wonder how he got that scar. <laughs> I just want to know what he's thinking about right now. Yeah. Well, today we are uh, playing as the FBI agent Norman Jaden again. Oh, good. Right. That well of personality again. Of course. We're going to be uh, dealing with the origami killer killings, I guess. And I guess this is where we're going to be you stationed for the time long? being. No, Let's take a long thought soon. about that. Yes. Well, uh, while we're waiting, uh, let's see what we can do. We can kind of sit here and... Uh, well, uh, <laughs> you can, can mess up being bored? Oh, there we go. Oh, I got an idea. I can take out Ari. Oh. Just slip him on just like that. There we go. Now we look Put cool while we're glove. bored. Let's see. Got the, ah, here we go. Wait, Let's what? play a little bit of wall ball. What do you say? Are you kidding me? Yep, all I gotta do is just, uh, sets up a wall right there. Or maybe <laughs> it's like breakout or something like that. But, uh, yeah, let's throw a ball against the wall. <laughs> just, uh, jer jerk down on the six axis, and there you go. <laughs> uh, oh, I, I can't believe this. Oh, thank God there's an outsider's perspective. Now everybody can see that he's insane. Well, imagine what he'd be doing if he was playing a game like Beat Saber. <laughs> Is there a swarm of bees around him? What's happening? <laughs> oh my god, I think he's going insane. Listen for the dial tone. You see that number there that's right next to him? That's how many times he's thrown the ball. So he's been bored <laughs> enough to throw the ball 21,113 times. The best thing is, he got Ari yesterday. <laughs> he's been really bored in the past two hours. <laughs> exactly. Like, he was waiting for that call. He's like, oh, thank god, a murder scene. I, I gotta go that's now. Right. I'll try to get that trophy that get 20,000 throws, you know. I'm off, Charlene. I'll look at the reports later. I'll cancel all appointments for this afternoon. Okay. And if oh, you see that Norman Jaden fella, Norman tell him that he's Jayden a fucking piece of shit. And, oh. Oh. Well. <laughs> hey, Jaden. Yeah. That was the other Norman Jaden I was calling you. a piece of shit. Don't even I'm worry about, about it. Do you mind tagging along? We can talk as we walk. Yeah, of course. Uh, yes, I wanted sir. to introduce walk myself and talk. before yeah. getting started. Mm -hmm. but a walk and talk. I can uh, do two things at once. No, no, Watch me. I just have to get to the press conference. I can. I just won't. Hey, Jaden, are you coming or what? God, so impatient. Fine. Have you uh, I guess I Lieutenant well. Blake yet? Yeah, we met this morning. No, I haven't met Blake. He has his own yeah. methods, but he's. A... Hey, have you met the worst person on the force? Blake the Flake never comes into work ever. Am I just cutting off his dialogue because I'm just completely messing up the pathing? <laughs> no, I think so, yeah. Tie a knot in a necktie. Oh, I guess. Okay, tie a tie, yeah, yeah, I can do this. <laughs> As I rub like up against you, let me tie your tie. The press. Ooh, All wow, you know, the way your tie feels is so nice. Wow, what is this? Poly is polyester, cotton, concern. and a bit of spandex? Wow, oh, so my God, it feels great. What do you know? This guy yes! Okay, it happens here, too. We, we, <laughs> we talked about this, how every single character, when they're in the middle of a quick time event, if you mess up, they just undo all their progress. It's just like, nope, not doing it. And, and also, oh, killer. what happened to his head? What? Respect, sir. Uh -oh. of it, it's none of my business. Nah, well, dude. What's really funny is that uh, the quick time events are also oh. in time with your blinking as well. All I'm asking is that you make progress mm. and fast. And the press mm. want to perpetrate. Oh, please undo it so I can unblink. Mm. Up on a silver platter. <laughs> uh, uh, well, oh man, I'm a failure. Filing than a tying knots. Ah, oh, forget it. I'll it's uh, not my strong suit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, way to tie it all together. <laughs> oh, go see Charlie, and she'll show you to your office. Check in on the press conference if you're interested. Do I got to tie Charlene's tie, too? I tell you what, Thank tying you. all these people's so, ties, it's a bit of a club, nuisance. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I saw Blake when I arrived. I have lost, and you... That's for you, that is a fixed. win, sir. Where's the water cooler? Hey! Where's the I water cooler so I can station. stand by it? Stretch my legs for a bit. I'm so As you fucking get crazy thirsty. Show me my office. Oh God, where am I? What do I do? So Captain many people here. Oh, Jaden, so Jaden, you're, you're having an episode. Uh, we need you to calm the. Uh, uh, Strange uh, to Captain Perry. 
seems to be more interested in meeting the press than investigating the crime. Well, he pointed somewhere to where the press conference is. I don't know where it is, though. I may have missed it. But... Eh, who cares? Well, maybe I can go into here. Guess not. All right. <laughs> it's just the janitor's closet. Maybe it's a... Go into the bathroom, maybe? It, no? Okay. Mm -hmm. What's that guy doing? Oh, what's in here? Something something in there. Something interesting. Oh! Oh, I think he's doing stand-up. Oh, sweet. Let's get in there. Let's listen to some... Where'd that other guy go? It's like, so these DUIs, what's the deal with that? Nice watch. So we're now oh, we're getting to the, the first question for this episode. The, uh, the non-context question to sort of uh, judge where the narrative might go. The kind of thing mm -hmm. that goes down question well. I ask you is, should we be charitable? And you said yes. Oh, good. And we got, and we got a gold watch here for lieutenants when they get uh, promoted to give them this really nice uh, Rolex looking Larry gold watch. Behalf. So you said yes, we'll slip them a five dollar bill. I saw a couple hundreds in there. Ain't no officer Captain that has a hundred dollars to spare. To yeah, well, I'm a low-level <laughs> FBI agent. What kind of money can I make? I don't know. FBI money? <laughs> You're kind of a big deal. It's the Federal Bureau of Investigation, not the Federal Bureau of, of Income. Oh my god, this is our office. Oh, great. This is our <laughs> office. We got the janitor's closet. This? <laughs> this Look is at all office? those spider webs. That's where I was told to take you. I'm pretty sure this is a uh, repurposed anything, interrogation you know room. I, I think so, yeah. Because you notice those walls, those aren't, like, naturally built walls. Those are uh, the artificial ones they put around cubicles or something like that. Well, fortunately, this is the least European room in the game, so... <laughs> okay, time to work. <laughs> All right, time to work. Let's see. What work uh, can we do? Uh, time to tidy up a little bit. Let's wow. see what we could do. More like a big cupboard. Well, I wanted a quiet place to work. And it certainly looks like I got it. So that's a win in my book. No time Eat to it. it. Gotta get down to work. First, analyze the case files. All right. So first thing we gotta do is we gotta get our office ready. And well, that's uh, there's gotta be something around here that I can maybe. Hmm. Well, I mean, hmm. a, lot, a lot, lot of lot of leg room in here. So that's that's a good thing. At yeah, least. that's nice. All right. Let's see. Move the chair here. I just noticed and you're still filthy from you crawling around in the mud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and very gently, we will... Oh, my back! Oh. Get all that shit off there. Oh, my sciatic nerve! Covered in sweat, covered in dirt, now I'm covered in dust. dust. God, we're so dirty. I don't want to touch it, the desk looks freaking dirty, it's just... See, I was really hoping we could undo the dusting that we just did. <laughs> you better not scuff that floor, Jaden! Ah, perfect. Just well, like my room at home. That's our office, I guess. I guess we'll, uh, delicately take a seat. I... Nah, well, wait, no, no, no. I, I have a uh, second thoughts about this, but... Oh, well, take the plunge. Here we go. Gotta get to work, so... Uh... <laughs> Alright, let me just go ahead and grab Ari so I can analyze these Gotta case get... files. Mm -hmm. As soon as I remember where I put her in my <laughs> coat pocket, <laughs> I just... <laughs> I hang on. Oh, I remember. She's in... What? Hey, hey, wait. What happened? Wait. Oh, 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 no oh, fucking oh. way! <laughs> yeah, no way! The game, the game froze. <laughs> <laughs> you fucked around too much. I fucked around <laughs> a little too much, <laughs> and now the game is frozen. <laughs> oh no! Wonderful. Hmm. Be right back. Now he's even more of a piece of wood. So. I reloaded the game. Hmm. It's going to take me back to, to, to where we were. Mm -hmm. But uh, now something's happening. Now, all of a sudden, we have Commodore 64-ian loading screens. Oh, no. I think it's trying to reload all that. You know how there's kind of, like, false memory that 
computers can have, consoles can have. It's trying to reload all that extra memory that it doesn't remember having, if that makes sense. Did it, like, cause an overflow with my actions or something like that? I... <laughs> That's, that's about it, all I can think of. It's, it's like, oh, jeez, what has this kid done? Oh, man. It's, but, yeah, I, I'd like got... to think that David Cage put an anti-fuck-around, uh, I don't know, series of uh, sequence codes. Just like, okay, if they're not going to take if they're not gonna take my vision seriously, kill Switch. Well, maybe uh, if we fuck around enough, we can inject arbitrary code, <gasps> and then we can play Pokemon Silver or something like that in this. I was just thinking that, yeah, we'd turn it into Super Mario Land. <laughs> yeah! It's just, you know, you're just shouting, Jason! Jason! And then, ba 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 da ba ba do 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 We'll turn Jaden here into a Pong paddle. Jeez, it's still loading! Oh, God. See, I was thinking it's, if we rewrite oh, the arbitrary finally. code, we'll, we'll end up in Detroit Become Human. <laughs> Eight years before it was even finished. Oh, my God. That's how he did it. So get the fucking chair. Sweep the fucking desk. You gotta sweep, sweep, sweep. Oh, God. Enough fucking around. It's time to, time to get serious. Push the desk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, go, go, yeah. I, I, I push the desk. Match the X button. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, I really hope this happens again. I really hope this happens again. I hope not. I really you you may want it to happen, but I don't because that means it's got to be another twenty minutes on my end of. Well, okay. You, you, because that crash that happened was disastrous. Like, right, it looks like we're gonna we're gonna be able to move forward, but I had to like restart my PS3 and it, and it like you know. Ooh, fat yes. Fatal error. God, what happened to it? <laughs> oh my God! So we're gonna let, we're gonna analyze the case files and sort of get an overview on the origami killer here. Mm, okay. The first the first thing we can do is uh, set our uh, little augmented reality background. Ooh. What does that mean? Well, let me show you. Let's start with this one. Oh, out in the desert. I'd say Mars. Oh. Well, that's cooler. <laughs> because, you know, the, the person to come in first is Ethan Mars. <laughs> 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 yeah, let's, let's do this one. Ooh. Ah, oh, my brethren. My other pieces of wood I can talk to in a very mild tone manner. Looks more like the, outskirts of, uh, the outskirts of where Resident Evil 4 starts. Oh, I'm down for that. But uh, let's go to my favorite. Boosh. It's the cliff from up. I'll be damned. This looks this looks nice. I always love big yeah. sweeping, you know, nature on this. So, all right, that's good. Get rid of that shit. <laughs> then we can look at clues. We can look at files. We can bring down a map of pits, pits, wherever we are. So, look at the clues here. We've got tire tracks, uh, organ, <laughs> an, an organ donor. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, could, I, I, could, I couldn't read that. The text was too small. There we go. So let's check out the tire tracks here. The killer's car is probably a Chevrolet Malibu 83. Copyright. Why, why would you still drive that? What? Oh, that's cool. So what we can do is we, we can bring down the map and uh, shove a clue in there and see if there's any sort of correlation or whatever. So no correlation with that there. What we have here is the origami figure. That's what that says. No prints or specific clues. Hmm. Nothing much to go on. Other than the mm. fact that it's an origami, but... There it is. one origami store in Ooh. town. Where do you go to buy origamis? I mean, don't you just go and get the paper and just do it yourself? Maybe I mean, Hobby Lobby's from? still a thing, so let's just go get paper crafting and become zero killers ourselves. And there's an orchid, of course. Mm. A common species. That doesn't help much. A lot of great clues you got here, Norman. <laughs> the orchid is a common species. Whoa, that's a lot of orchids. Any flower shop. You got you got a tire track that can be traced to one type of car that nobody apparently has. You've got an orchid that can be found everywhere in the city, and you got an origami which only comes from one shop, but anybody can buy. You know, well, whatever. Well, let's take a look at uh, the uh, victim files here. 
So we got uh, the ki- the victims and also his method of killing the victims. Hmm. Eight victims in the last three years. Jesus. All boys, age between nine and thirteen. Hmm. No signs of violence. The victims disappear from public places in broad daylight. Somehow. No one notices anything. Okay, I gotta say, I really like this segment, just because sound three to this five is so futuristic later. and almost our Drown. reality nowadays. This is cool. Yeah. Rainwater. I also like it because, you know, we have time to just sit down and talk about the origami killer, and we really kind of get things into perspective here. Yeah. Because all the young boys are dead! There is always no! a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. Always next to and a railroad. All the victims disappeared in the fall. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what you can do for geoanalysis there, but here's where all the victims were. Killer has a large comfort zone. Aw, those are some lovely pictures of the development the team's kids. I mean, at least I hope they are. Hmm. This won't yeah. make the geo profiling any easier. Well, I think that's about all we got to show for right now, I'd say. Let's take a look if we can do Always any more uh, geo analysis here. An origami in the hand, an orchid on the chest. The origami is the hands. We're two in the bush. Da da da. Which means they remained alive for several days before being drowned. Over three thousand five hundred people questioned. Over one hundred suspects interrogated. Not a single lead to go on. Boy, you guys really suck at your job, don't you? No shit. That many people and you haven't found anything? The killer is white. Yep, that's a pie chart. 30 and 45. Look at this data. He is intelligent. But wait, I thought you had nothing to go on. How do you know these An characteristics? Type. He has a car. Maybe that's He's his future tech employed, doing work for him. But his work him. allows him free oh, time. Well, maybe we can find him on... Okay, I thought that it would show exactly where he was. <laughs> okay, Ari, where is he? He is right here. Thanks. Just need a little bit of Minority Report mixed in, and it'd be <laughs> perfect. Let's well, take a look at their victims. Maybe we can uh, do some geo-profiling on the victims. Maybe? Nope. Well, whatever, fuck it all. I think that's about all we got right now. There's the map, of course, and uh, it keeps whatever you have on there. Like, you know, uh, with that green circle we had there, maybe mm -hmm. as we get more clues, we can sort of get to the bottom and, you know, achieve more, you know, well, whatever. Well, environment is how we uh, change our background, and we're back to the clues here. Maybe we can sort of find the tire tracks, and, well, I thought we could match them on there. Maybe we could follow the tire tracks, maybe? I, I, I was about to say, are there any tire tracks in the city? No? Damn it. <laughs> there are no tire tracks anywhere in Pittsburgh! <laughs> well, I think it's about all we can do right now. I guess we gotta go out and hit the streets and find some more, but, oh, wait, there's one more thing about our friend Norden J uh, Norden Javen, whatever his name is. <laughs> He's a drug addict! What? He is a crippling drug addiction. Oh, seriously? Yep. How the hell did we get hired? I gotta go wash my face. Ooh, that's a cool shot. That's a good shot, David Cage. Just make movies, David. No shit. I need to. Because otherwise you have assholes like me who ruin it and <laughs> undermine it. You know, crash your game. I need it. I, so, I'll feel we're now getting to our second question of the episode. Oh, God, did I, I kill him? I, I gotta hang on. He's really struggling this. right now. He, oh, he's trying Lord. to do it, though. He feels sick, I but oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can do without it. I can do without it. So, the question is do we take the drugs? Oh, what Do did I say? we take the drugs? Oh. Huh. This is our trip to. Where are we, where are we taking a trip to? Well, I don't know. Because you said yes! No! We're gonna, we're gonna take the drugs! Aw, oh, man! Slow ride! Take it! Damn it! Ugh. Take it, Jason! Crap! I didn't want to aid an addiction! Well. Fuck! We'll, we'll just, uh, leave him to his, uh. To his, uh time in the sun, so to speak. <laughs> you just hear in the background, <laughs> smashing and crashing like, 
Oh, there goes Jaden again. But let's do this uh, kind of neat bird's eye shot here, and uh, let's briefly switch protagonists. Yay, Dial Tone Dad! Welcome back! Yeah. We're gonna be uh, our, our dumbass boy, Ethan Mars <laughs> himself. This is Lieutenant Blake, Mr. Mars. Could you please tell him what happened? Mr. Blake, it, it do was you this hear the dial tone? I hear it every day. With my son, Sean. So we now we gotta remember everything that we did at the park. And then he wanted to go on Oh, that was so ages ago. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? So we, we gotta, we, we gotta remember back, what happened. Sean had disappeared. Exactly what time did you arrive at the park? Try to do, remember exactly, Mr. Mars. Every do you remember what time? Can be <sighs> important. What time do we? What time were we about. there? I don't know. Every time we're with Sean, we're just a disappointment. Uh, 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 remember, remember, it's remember, 4 15. remember. Yeah, that's it. Four fifteen. I remember exactly because I looked at the clock in the park when we arrived. If you need some help on this part, always choose X. He was wearing. Oh, a coat. really? X is the one that's always correct. What, what was he wearing? He was. Choose it. Choose it. Choose it. Choose it. Beige. Yeah. Beige coat. A beige coat because I'm a very terrible and a father. Pair of pants. Pants. Uh, pants. Pants. Shoes. Shoes. Pants. How Beige coat and green pants. What's wrong with you? Weren't you right? Look, by I'm the a single carousel? dad. I don't know how to dress myself, let alone my son. I can't remember. Uh -huh. I, I can't remember exactly. It all happened so fast. You say you took your son to the park after school, but you didn't report him missing until eight fifteen. Why did it take you so long to contact the police? All right, that's bullshit. We, uh, if we come in and uh, talk about missing people the, the second that they're missing, it's like, well, you gotta I wait 48 hours. But then we wait I four hours to come and tell them. It's like, oh, why'd you wait so long? So which is it? All right, that's all the questions I have for now. You're free to go, Mr. Mars. We'll continue to look for Sean overnight. We'll contact you if we have any more questions. Do, do you think the origami killer? Yes. Now leave. What? Yeah. <laughs> Listen. Oh, look at that water in the background. Off, That's doing funky dances. Oh, oh God, what the? But what yeah, it is yeah I replaced stuff. all the water fountains with club soda. <laughs> well, then we have about four days to find him alive. That's a dirty trick, because I hate club soda. It's gross. You'll hear in the background. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Did you ever had Sprite without, like, the lemon-lime flavor? Oh, gah. You ever have carbonated Did water? You find something? Mm. Yeah, 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 delicious. No. You ever have? You ever have Nothing Beverly? Yet, they're gonna keep looking through the night. What's that? Uh, an Italian bitter drink. Do they? It's gross. Do they think no. it's the origami killer? Yes. Now leave. <laughs> it, it, it's still too early to say, but it is a possibility. God, we're the worst. <laughs> I really wasn't paying attention. I mean. I really hope she punches us by the end of this. How could you lose Sean like that? You should never have taken your eyes off him. Yeah, I shouldn't have gotten custody either. Whose fault is that? Yours. Why did you leave him, Ethan? Why? Wasn't it enough losing Jason? Well, why did you leave me? Because I tried to protect our other son. What was his name? Bob. Sorry. It's not what I meant to say. I don't even think he's here right now. Oh, you better have that dial tone going, man. <laughs> Just take the piss out of every single serious scene like this. <laughs> it is very easy to do, let me tell you what. I mean, David Cage is always talking about emotion and all that stuff like that, but look at all the emotion on Ethan Mars' face, or lack thereof. It's like, well, my my uh, ex-wife is crying and, and is distraught. So, uh, well, I guess I'll just, I guess I'll just have a Mentos or something. <laughs> That's exactly what it looks like. He's thinking about whether he left the iron on at home or not. Well, he does not care about what's happening. Oh, hey, it's Shelby. Yep, we're gonna now we're gonna be uh, Scott Shelby for this next part. Or, uh, that's what I would be saying. Oh, hey, there we go. Got to remember. That's, Ooh. uh, that is a trophy we get for answering all the questions right about Sean when he was at the park. Oh, really? Yes. And I've gotten most of the trophies, but, you know, occasionally we'll get some that I haven't gotten yet, so that'll, uh, that'll be fun, right? <laughs> well, Neat. Yeah. So, um, I'm just gonna say this right now. Yeah. We'll, we'll see you next time on Heavy Rain. 
because <laughs> guess what just happened are you fucking kidding me <laughs> no way I'm just sitting here and I'm waiting for five minutes oh you got five an infinite loading screen five whole minutes and it oh. just it just hangs and hangs and <laughs> hangs and hangs <laughs> Oh, at least it gave me the trophy. <laughs> no way. Okay. <laughs> we, are no, we are now getting Commodore level loading screens here. It's, oh, it, it, is, it is nuts. It is absolutely insane. You know what? So far, this series could not have gotten any better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I I wait on bated breath for the next episode. Maybe we should take the time to count all of the pores on his face. No, one, no, I'm one, I, I'm just going to go to the next episode. Three, okay, thanks. Four, five, six. Pressing seven, the stop button on my recording eight, software. See you next nine, episode. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Oh, shit, I lost count. One, two, three. Thank mm-hmm. you.